In today's documentary, I will still tell you the story of my grandmother who has Alzheimer's disease, but it is more of the story of love. I grew up in the home of my grandmother and grandfather. As far as I remember, my grandfather would always take me to pick up my grandmother from a workplace, then take a short detour to buy her favorite cake before walking home for the beach holding her hand. Looking at my grandmother with a shy expression, I used to tease her. Grandma, why are you blushing at your age? Every Valentine's Day, my grandfather would hide from my grandmother and discuss with me what kind of surprise he would prepare for her. And this was the first time I had a naive understanding of love. My most memorable memory was on Valentine's Day 2018, when my grandfather excitedly walked into a house dressed in a suit. He told grandma, Let's go to take our wedding photos, shall we? Please try a wedding girl I just bought you. When grandma emerged from the dressing room after changing to her wedding gown, grandpa said with red eyes, You look so beautiful, handing her red rose he had been saving for a long time, and smiling smitely at her. On February 14 this year, another Valentine's Day, my grandmother, who suffers from Alzheimer's disease, suddenly disappeared on that day. My mother and I were so concerned that we called the police. It was about 9 p.m. when we finally went to her former grandmother. A hospital called to report that an elderly man with a phone number sign on his shirt was refusing to leave one of the words. My mother cried, as soon as we turned the word. Where my grandfather had died when we rushed to the hospital to pick up my grandmother. When I saw my grandmother sitting silently by the bedside, holding a rose she had picked out of nowhere. I was reminded of the Valentine's Day night a few years ago. When I asked my grandmother, Grandma, what is love? Grandma smiled as she looked at the roses by the window and said, Baby, you must find the boy you like and bring him home to show me. Sometimes ever, sometimes never. Happiness is not about being mortal or having food arise in one's hand. It's about having each tiny wish come true or having something to eat when you are hungry or having someone's love when you need love. Suddenly, I was reminded of the poem by Lone Parent. When age chose the blood, while well, pleasures are past, flyers fleet away with the wings of the dove. The dearest remembers will still be the last. Our sweetest memory of the first kiss of love. Yes, some people in the bottom of the heart never forget it. Time stole not only memories, but also my favorite you.